The Washington Crimson Tide have signed another one. The Washington Redskins have signed Reuben Foster, inside linebacker, formerly on the 49ers, as you can see in the highlight tape. Saturday night, Reuben Foster was arrested in Tampa Bay for another domestic violence dispute. All of the facts are not out there. We don't know if he's guilty or not, but the Redskins have taken a flyer on him, adding him to the list of the other Alabama players. And what's crazy is not only do we have Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, Cam Sims, Ari Kwanjo, Ryan Anderson, but we also have Reuben Foster's running mate in college. Reuben Foster and Sean Deion Hamilton did some great things for Alabama. And once Sean Deion Hamilton recovers from his injuries and is finally upgraded to play beyond just special teams, we can truly see some magic and some chemistry between Reuben Foster and Sean Deion Hamilton. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's get back to Reuben Foster. He was drafted by the 49ers in 2017. He only played in 10 games, but in the 10 games he played in, he started. He had 72 combined tackles with 59 of them being solo, seven tackles for losses, five QB hits, and even a pass defense. Pretty decent stats for only 10 games in a rookie season. The sky's the ceiling for him. People are forgetting how good Reuben Foster was. First of all, he was the number one inside linebacker recruit coming out of high school. But also, there used to be debates between Jalen Smith, Reuben Foster, and Miles Jack for who was the best inside linebacker prospect coming out of college in the most recent couple of years. And Reuben Foster hasn't really had a chance to show what he can do. Again, he only played 10 games in his rookie season and only played six games so far this year. He's only played a total of 16 games. People haven't gotten to see what he can truly do in the NFL and people have kind of forgotten how good he was in college. But the reason people don't want to take a flyer on him is the domestic abuse allegations, the whole trials, everything. Not sure if he's guilty or not. The facts are a little iffy. First, the girlfriend said that he hit her and then later on said that he didn't. So we're not sure if Ruben actually did it and pressured her into saying that he didn't or if he actually didn't do it and it's just a whole lot of drama. Either way, where Ruben Foster is, there's probably drama coming with it. And who knows? If he's found guilty, he might get suspended or even banned from the NFL. But after claiming him off waivers, the Redskins will assume Foster's non-guaranteed salaries slash cap hits of 257k, then 1.2 million, then 1.6 million with an option available for 2021. And it's really funny because I'm seeing people doing little memes of Mason Foster saying when you find out that you're the worst Foster now. And it's just little pictures of people being scared and all that. You know how that go on the internet. You know the internet undefeated. But the Redskins, specifically Doug Williams, issued a statement shortly afterwards to explain the decision of claiming Reuben Foster off of waivers. Doug Williams quote said, today we have claimed the rights to linebacker Reuben Foster, the Redskins fully understand the severity of the recent allegations made against Reuben. If true, you can be sure these allegations are nothing our organization would ever condone. Let me be clear, Reuben will have to go through numerous steps, including the full legal process, an investigation, and potential discipline from the NFL, as well as meeting with counselors associated with the team before he will ever have an opportunity to wear the burgundy and gold as a player. That being said, we have decided to investigate the situation with Reuben further by claiming his rights after candid conversations with a number of his ex-Alabama teammates and current Redskins players who were overwhelmingly supportive of us taking this chance. Nothing is promised to Ruben, but we are hopeful being around so many of his former teammates and friends will eventually provide him with the best possible environment to succeed both personally and professionally. And even though the Redskins do tend to deal with a lot of drama, I actually do like this decision. I do want y'all to get in the comments and debate, let me know. If y'all like the decision or hate it, give me reasons why. But me personally, I kind of like the decision because with a player with so much promise and so much potential, he can be an all pro linebacker for us easily and within a short time if he gets his act together. And luckily for him and us, he will go to an organization, the Washington Crimson Tide, who already have eight other Alabama players. I think he's played with every single one of them except for maybe Ha Ha Clinton Dix. But the other seven, he definitely knows. He's been with them in college, taking classes, practice, putting in countless hours with them. He has trust with them. 
they'll watch over his back make sure he doesn't get into trouble so if there's any team that's primed to take Reuben Foster and change him for the good it's the Washington Redskins because he has so many old friends and close ones that can watch him and make sure he stays out of trouble and they're more likely to tell him how it is and tell him the truth and not sugarcoat anything also He's now leaving San Francisco, which is where he was having problems. He was just recently caught with a domestic case in Tampa Bay. He's from Georgia and Alabama. So maybe the DMV might be a new fresh scene for him to get a fresh start. He has no ties there. So hopefully this will be a new beginning for him. And looking at it for the Redskins standpoint, I'm assuming they've already accepted all of the flack and drama they're going to get. They're going to be on first take. They're going to be on all of the ESPN shows. They're going to be debated about, talked about. They're going to have to answer countless press conference questions. And I'm assuming they're prepared for that. For the chance to get a all-pro linebacker for free, almost. Comes with some backlash, but the Redskins seem prepared for it. And it also, based on what Doug Williams said, it seems like the Redskins are going to do everything they can to make sure that he will only play if they see a change in him and can also prove that his past is not as muddy as it seems. They're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure his slate is clean before they even allow him to get on that field and go be great for the Washington Crimson Tide. So I like the move. As long as they do a thorough investigation, keep him on the roster until he clears all the mess up. And if he makes it through scot-free, he'll have a group of Alabama players that he knows very well to watch over him and he will be on a team on the rise especially defensively and he will add to an already great front seven this is a great place for him to be Greg Minuski is a great defensive coordinator I like this matchup a lot and again like I said earlier even though I was getting ahead of myself I would love to see Reuben Foster and Sean Deion Hamilton go at it again like they did in their Alabama days. Reuben Foster was the muscle, Sean Deion Hamilton was the brains. Nobody could get past them. But again, please get in them comments. Let me know how y'all feel about the subject. And while y'all at it, make sure y'all don't like, fake punch that like button, favorite, subscribe, I'll subscribe back. And most importantly, like and share. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.